I am Orion. And I am Obsidian Ant. Welcome to Elite Dangerous. As you can probably tell, I've got a bit of a special guest on board my ship today. I really don't know that much about him, aside from the fact that he seems to have integrated himself into my ship, and that his name is Orion. Why don't you tell everyone a bit about yourself? Stand by, one moment. This is classified information. I am compelled to answer only with that, and I'm not able to explain why. Okay. Well, if you can't tell us that, can you tell us what you've been up to? I've been doing very little. Nothing significant from what I can tell right now. Uh, okay then. Well, thank you, Orion. Yes, sir. And now, for those of you wondering what's going on here, Orion is a voice pack by HCS Voice Packs, and he's fully integrated with Voice Attack. If you've ever watched any Twitch streams of Elite Dangerous, chances are that you will have heard at least one of these voice packs, such as Verity or Astra. Uh, Orion here is one of the latest ones, it's due out later this year, and it's voiced by none other than William Shatner. So, aside from the fact that we can have some rather interesting conversations with Orion, he does have a few useful functions as well. In fact, he has a whole lot of useful functions. Orion, open the galaxy map. Affirmative. Stellar cartography. Plot a course to the Pleiades Nebula. Setting course for Pleiades Nebula in constellation Taurus. You're embarking on an unprecedented journey the like of which can only be compared to pioneering discoveries and adventures undertaken by notable explorers such as Vasco da Gama, Captain James Cook, and Captain Endeavor into the unknown. Not only will Orion help you locate and find the local nebula, but it'll also provide you with a stunning tour of them. Orion, I've arrived at the Pleiades Nebula. Congratulations on reaching the Pleiades Nebula in the constellation Taurus. Notably, there is a black hole located in the Maya system. When according to the Galnet newsfeed, the neighboring Merope system has a group of strange, organic-like artifacts on the surface that you may want to investigate. However, if you're finished here and wish to continue, your next destination will be the Hind Nebula. I can plot a course for you to the Hind Nebula in stellar cartography. Thank you, Orion. Affirmative. So, as I mentioned, along with the tours and all the other information Orion has, he's actually also capable of providing functionality to your ship. We're here at Obsidian Orbital and he should be able to help out. Find me a landing pad. Docking request code sent. Stand by. As you can see there then, functions like this are all fully automated and that's achieved through the use of a program called Voice Attack. And it's this program which the voice packs are directly plugged into. Voice Attack is a voice controlled program. It allows you to control your computer simply through spoken voice commands. And of course, Voice Attack can then be used to control Elite Dangerous or indeed many other games. More details on Voice Attack can be found in the video description below. And the voice packs themselves come as profiles that can be imported into Voice Attack. These profiles are pre-programmed with all the functions you'll need to operate Elite Dangerous. They have a massive range of commands from simple ones such as deploy landing gear or deploy cargo scoop right up to more complex ones such as request docking permission or things like which I'll show you in a minute to clear the dock and jump. And of course they'll come with a ton of responses. The Orion one here has over 1300 phrases. Orion, prepare for departure. Acknowledged. Pre-launch diagnostic checks. All systems ready to go. Final checks to ascent thrust vector controls. Complete. Stand by for launch. Departure handover. Ascending to 30 meters, retracting modules, handing you the car. So that process was fully automated. There's also a number of other automated processes we can use, but I'm going to have to wait for the traffic to clear before I can actually use that one. We've got a few ships coming in and out, so I'll go partly out the dock here before showing you the next command. Now looks like a good time. Orion, clear dock and prepare to jump. Afterburners. Distancing now. Stand by. The FTL is charged and ready. Stand by. Engaging jump. For those of you that watch my videos regularly, you will know that I use a HOTUS. That's a hands-on throttle and stick, a joystick setup that has a whole bunch of buttons on it, allowing me to use all those manner of functions without having to rely on the keyboard. But even with that, using these voice packs adds a whole different dimension to the game. And when combined with virtual reality, well, I just gotta admit, it's an absolutely amazing experience. 
In VR, not only are you immersed totally in your ship, but you've got the ability to talk with and communicate directly with your ship. Remember I said a large part of these voice packs are the Nebula tours? Well, take a look at this. Orion, tell me more about the Pleiades Nebula. Pleiades Nebula, or Seven Sisters, is an open star cluster containing middle-aged hot B-type stars and is located in the constellation of Taurus. It is among the nearest star clusters to Earth and is the cluster most obvious to the naked eye when viewed from planet Earth's surface. The cluster is dominated by hot, blue, and extremely luminous stars that have formed within the last hundred million years. Dust that forms a faint reflection nebulosity around the brightest stars was thought at first to be left over from the formation of the cluster, hence the alternative name Maya Nebula after the star Maya but is now known to be an unrelated dust cloud in the interstellar medium through which the stars are currently passing. Computer simulations have shown that the Pleiades was probably formed from a compact configuration that resembled the Orion Nebula. Astronomers estimate that the cluster will survive for about another 250 million years after which it will disperse due to gravitational interactions with its galactic neighborhood. Also, the celestial entity has several meanings in different cultures and traditions. Thank you, Orion. You're welcome. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing modules. The voice pack, as well as the voice attack profile, is also compatible with the SRV. Now, I'm here on the planetary surface of the planet right next door to the space station in the Pleiades Nebula. I've come across this little point of interest, so I'm going to get out in the surface vehicle and take a look. Now, there is a backstory to Orion, and a lot of that is actually revealed as you interact with the character. And that story, along with the Nebula tours, goes a long way to making this way more than just a simple voice response pack. Orion has a lot of character to him, and William Shatner's done a very good job with it. Orion, deploy SRV. Acknowledged. Prepping SRV. Another nice side to all this is that the voice attack software allows you to customize your voice input commands. And you can also then go through the profile and choose which responses, if any, you actually want to those spoken commands. This essentially allows you to interact with Orion in any way you want. And you saw an example of that customization in the opening section of this video. Select target. Lock target. There's actually a lot more phrases and functions than I'm going to be able to cover in this video. Suffice to say though, it is a very extensive pack. Deploy turrets. Deploying and readying weapons. I spent a bunch of time here then just taking out the local sentries as well as destroying the defense turrets. But after that I wanted to move on and spend a bit of time driving around the surface of the planet. And this was one of those moments when Orion's sense of humor really did come to the front. Dismiss ship. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Critical mass of T minus 30 seconds. <laughs> Drives. Standing by. The first time he said that, it really did leave me hanging for a bit. He's got a whole bunch of phrases like that, and some of them really are very funny. The pack is also very educational, and there's over 360 entries of scientific facts and information. Ryan, what a nebula. Verity, would you explain that for the commander? As you wish. A nebula is an interstellar cloud of dust, hydrogen, helium, and other ionized gases. Originally, nebula was a name for any diffuse astronomical object, including galaxies beyond the Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy, for instance, was referred to as the Andromeda Nebula and spiral galaxies in general as spiral nebulae. Before the true nature of galaxies was confirmed in the early 20th century by Edwin Hubble, Vesto Slipher and others. Very informative and thank you. And thank you, Orion. You're welcome. So, if this pack at all sounds interesting to you, do keep an eye out on the HCS website. I'll put a link in the video description below. Orion is going to be released later this year. In the meantime though, do keep an eye on my YouTube channel because I'll be using him in a few future episodes. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. <laughs>